What's up, everyone? How's it going? It's Regular Rogue here again. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on today, which was, as you can see right off the bat from the screen, uh, it was a pretty rough day. Um, so as usual, you know, remember, this is not financial advice. It's just for entertainment purposes. But if you do like the content that I'm putting here, um, you know, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You know, I'm trying to build it up as we speak. It's, it's in a lot of people right now, but this will hopefully keep me going. Uh, if you guys hear some noises in the background, that's my baby newborn baby uh that's what we're doing this investment try to see if we can you know help out this future anyways so overall for today like i said not a very great day i feel like unless you were in cannabis actually especially if you're in cannabis stocks today was a terrible day but overall you know a lot of people are sucking the life back and forth out of the market you know just because you're going i feel like it hurts to every single different type of uh, sector um but once again it's not a bad day it wasn't a good day um, but overall, we did see some recovery in the after hours, which is nice. So I think at one point we we're down to 56,000, lost 7,000, uh, almost 8,000 there. I was kind of freaking out right at that point. And then we're, we're slowly coming back. So, you know, we made up more than half the difference. So, you know, that's nice. Hopefully tomorrow can be a green day. It feels like the entire week has been red. Um, so how do we get this comeback? Um, seeing that everything was down for the most part um i'll talk about it in a second so starting off with scpk remember scpk another spac merging with stem you know even though this one's down i'm i'm here for this one for the long term i'm not worried when it has its down days if anything i usually add a little more cash when i see the dips um but overall we're still up about 18 percent on this one so nothing to really worry about at this point uh, and once again once a merger announces on this one this thing is going to skyrocket number two where we made a lot of the ground in the after hours church or capital ticker ccib so as you guys know, this is the one that's rumored to merge with Lucid. There was a lot of rumors today it's potentially going to happen. I, I, I think it's going to happen. At least I really hope it's going to happen or else it's going to be a rough day for me. But in all seriousness, I do think this is going to happen. There's been way too many conversations on this for this to fall through. And if this happens, remember, we're going to see a huge boost this same day whenever it happens. And it could be soon. So once again, this is not financial advice. But if you're in it already, that's great. If you want to jump on the ride... I would suggest you do it relatively soon. I, I think this will come maybe at some point tomorrow, if not maybe next week. Monday, the market's closed, but maybe at some point next week. And once again, I think once this happens, this stock will go to 50. That'll be a quick, maybe there will be some volatility around 50 or so. But then long term, this is going to be a big stock. This is going to be the biggest competitor to test, in my opinion. So I'm holding this for a long time. Uh, and we're up, you know, 26%. So we do have some cushion overall. Uh, next one on the list here is skills man i'm getting beat up on this one we're up a good amount at one point after this these guys announced their uh nfl partnership and now we're only up 82 percent. so i've been getting crushed at one point this stock which is we had it at what is it 40 46 and now it's a 37 so it's had it's had a big drop this week I, I, that being said i'm not really too worried about this one i do think this is a long-term play for me you know, the gambling slash gaming market in the future is going to be a big deal so overall that's my wife right there uh overall it's it's it should be fine mp you know this one this one's going to be chugging right on this is one of my favorite stocks once again another bad day but you know most of my stocks are bad day today but overall i'm not worried we're up you know six percent you know lost four percent today for the most part but I, i'm still not worried on this one if anything I, I did buy on some of the dips today so I feel pretty good about this move forward. This will catch up, especially when they have their earnings, which I think is on the 18th of March. I think they're going to have a great quarter, and th this is going to be a, a long-term one for me as well. Most of the ones I invest are long-term. Some of the ones I added today, CRNT, so Saragon Networks, this is added to the ARC fund. Um, this is also a big 5G play. I think it's going to be big. I got in a little later on it today. As you can see, I'm down 2% when I saw the rally, but I do think this has a lot of room to grow. It's only $5.50. Um, I think the all-time high here is, you know, 646. So even if we got to that, I would make some money. But overall, I think this is one that one of these days you'll wake up and it's up another 20, 30, 40%. Uh, and then you look and it's, you know, around 10 bucks and then you kind of double your profit. So I would put this one on the watch list. Um, CPSH, everybody likes this. I've had this one a couple times. I've made a good amount of money in it and I would sell in and out. Um, I think this time I'm going to hold for the long term, um, especially, you know, with the Biden play and all the other contracts they have out there. And they have so many different ways of revenue streams they have out there that um, I just think I like this one a lot. Um, and we're up 5%, you know, which is nice. We, we had a big after hours, right? 8%. So I got it in and I was down around 2% before the after hours. And now we're, 
were up and i think this one's gonna skyrocket tomorrow dead inside made a video about this today um if you guys don't know him check out his page he's, he's i think the best youtuber out there um and i think this one's gonna continue to fly it just has so many potential options from a revenue standpoint that you know this time i'm gonna hold it i actually might add a little bit more tomorrow i want to add so i i bought in a, i'm at 84 uh, 07 and i made it 407 so i bought an exactly 8000 i would probably want to buy another two to three thousand worth of shares um i want to make this one one of my primary stocks as well and then the last one arrow um this one was also recommended by dead inside um i do think this is one that has a potential to growth now the big drop today is because because they had a, a big sky rise over the last week or the last day or so they went up you know uh, to 1145 and then they did a stock offering which is pretty healthy considering these companies when they have a big jump like that you know they do a stock offering they get some money back um and overall you know the, it drops but then for the most part you see a big jump right off the bat so i do think whether it's tomorrow or in the next coming days this one's going to see a big jump the good thing is, is we got in at a good rate so we're only down about a percent um which is nothing considered it was down 18 percent today so we we caught the low end of it which is terrific and i think this is going to have a lot of room to run i don't really plan to hold this one for the long run i'm hoping to see if i can double my money in the next couple weeks um and then maybe maybe i'll sell some shares and i'll keep some but at least some I, I think this can get to 15 to 18 um if it gets to 15 i'll probably sell a little bit if it gets 18 i, I might sell everything i'm not sure i gotta see what the run is gonna be at that day so that's all i have for you after today's so, um, these are my stocks right now um once again just highlighting the main ones i got stpk ccib skills mp and uh cpsh i'll probably move this one right up there um and, and that's it you know once again a, a bad day down 3500 but i do think it's going to recover this whole week if you see the if you see these trends this week right i made only 431 at one point in the week we were up to we were up six thousand. but look at these you, you know you're up six thousand, then you you're down this much then it climbs back up then it's down then it's this back. today was the biggest drop out of all of them i'm hoping this kind of reduces overall um and that's it oh last but not least i forgot to show this in my last video the other thing i am holding and it's just because fear of missing out is doge i do have crypto but i have crypto in uh coinbase i have some ethereum and some bitcoin but this one i got here because coinbase doesn't sell it and so far i'm up 973 40 percent which is it's awesome right considering you know this is i don't even feel like it's a real thing at these days um but i'm just gonna hold it because you never know this thing gets random boost left and right and you never know maybe i'm sitting at a dollar one of these days and i bought it what at five cents almost you know 4.9 almost five cents um so if this thing gets to a dollar i'll i'll do a backflip um but that's all i have for you guys today as always remember continue to subscribe if you want and also check out the links down below if you want two free stocks from Webull and one free stock from uh, robin hood if you deposit some cash in there so uh, I'll give you guys an update tomorrow. Thanks.